The Reading 375 is very gracious this year to be a part of the Images of America Reading book launch. I'm here with Everett Blodgett and Virginia Blodgett, more no commonly known as Ginny Blodgett, um, with their book Images of America Reading, uh, which they published just May 13th, so very recently, right before um, Reading 375 officially starts, and we had a very successful opening here at RCTV. How did that make you guys feel? I thought it was great. We just, you know, uh, we were surprised at how many people came. We were very appreciative of everybody coming to get a book and to listen to a little bit about the about the book. Mm -hmm. So we, I, we thought it was great. You did a great job organizing oh, it. <laughs> everybody was just absolutely wonderful. We were really surprised that they've taken on to this as graciously as they have. So how did this book come about? What was, what was the first genesis of you wanting to write this book? Sharing our stuff. <laughs> Very good. Uh, <laughs> stuff in terms of some items and stuff in terms of some things that we've learned mm -hmm. that we think are particularly interesting in writing history. There are at least four kind of discoveries in the book uh, that we think are very unique to our history. Cool. Mm -hmm. So we, when we are actually grateful to the Reading 375 because we'd been kind of thinking about doing something and when last year you folks announced that you were going to celebrate the 375 mm -hmm. we said okay this is it now yeah. or never <laughs> jump on board <laughs> and make it go it, it's a really great pairing um, i think and the the timing of the release was just really wonderful That's so great. Um, so, do you want to tell us a little bit about the cover, which you're, you're showing off here? Well, this is um, the Horace Wadlin uh, gazebo that used to be on the um, common from about 1911 to about 1930. Uh, 1929, 1930, the town went through a, a lot of study of the uh, common because it was going to be greatly reduced in size by mm. uh, 28 going from two lanes to four lanes mm. and sidewalks put in and then a little bit later there was a restriction of a sidewalk on the north side and the gazebo actually was there were lots of plans that people came up with but it just didn't fit and uh, the net result is it was moved down to a memorial park uh, it was designed by Horace Wadlin and uh, it's a nice piece uh, but we're strongly advocating that um, the gazebo fit better on a bigger piece of land. Yeah, right. I, I also love the the little the people in it. I love right. old photos right. with people. It's Absolutely. very very Absolutely. interesting and the clothing. The, of course, the old South Church yeah. is there on the right, and then what was called the Center School, which was torn down for the building of the um, extension of the Old South, mm -hmm. was there at the time. So we thought it was an appropriate picture because we thought people would recognize some of the buildings yeah. and so on. With something new in it too. Right. Something right. that you might not have seen before. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's actually taken from a postcard and there's 26 kids in the original postcard cool. uh, because of, uh, you can turn it around, you get a little bit more over here. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's a very unique picture. Uh, so how can folks get their hands on your book? Well, they can contact us um, personally uh, through our email. Our email is on the Reading 375 website. Great. And then we will be at uh, most of the Reading 375 events. And so either one of those would be, would be great. Great. Um, I will say I already have my copy of the book, and it is lovely. So congratulations on a labor of love um, that I think is very well appreciated by the community. Well, so. we, we hope so. We just, uh, as I said, it was um, something that we wanted to be able to share. So. Yeah. Congratulations, and thank you so much for telling us more about it today. Okay, you're thank welcome. You.